Okay, so in this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss about conversion of uh, statements in uh, or propositions in form of quantifiers. So we will start with some simple problems first. So here is a problem. Let LXY be the statement X loves Y, where the domain for both X and Y consists of all people in the world. So let me write the solution here. So what is L X Y? This statement is X loves Y. Okay, and uh, we want to write the first answer. Everybody loves Jerry in the form of what? In uh, we want to express it in the form of quantifies. So how will I write this? Everybody means all x loves y so who is taking the place of y here the place of y is taken by jerry so the answer for the first question will be for all x means all people means all x l x jerry so what is the meaning of this all x love jerry means everybody loves jerry this is the answer for the first one second one everybody loves somebody means all x love some y correct now here the, the the name of the person is not given so it means they love some y so the answer for the second question will be for all x there exists a y means for all people there exists some person such that x loves y means l x y so this is the quantifier for the second part means for for all x there is some y such that x loves y it means to say that everybody loves somebody third one is there is somebody whom everybody loves okay so there is some special person in this world so that every all the people in the world love that particular person okay for example take take prime minister okay all the people in the country love prime minister for example okay this means what there is some person so i'm writing the answer for c okay there is some person a such that all people x l star star so what should i write in the place of star so who loves should i write l a x or should i write l x a if i write x l a x it means a loves x and l x a means what x loves a so what we want is this person a is loved by all people so it will be means all x love a it is not that special does not love all people okay it's not like that so it is saying l x a means all people x love that special person l x a third and fourth nobody loves everybody now how will i write nobody loves everybody so i will in this type of problems what we do is we replace this nobody by a negation what is the negation of nobody loves everybody okay means the neg nobody loves the negation 
of nobody loves everybody is it is not the case that it's not the case that yet somebody loves everybody it is not the case that somebody loves everybody now i will write the answer of somebody loves everybody and it is not the case means what it is negation of somebody loves everybody now what is a negation of somebody loves everybody somebody means there exists some person x everybody for all y l x y what is the meaning of this it negation of there there is some person who loves everybody which is for all y l x y and what is the negation of this thing we know that when we take a negation of quantifier there exist gets converted into for all for all gets converted into there exist and proposition p gets converted to negation p so this will become what for all x there exists y negation l x y so this is the final form of the quantification for which particular statement for nobody loves everybody let's go to the next question there is somebody whom jin does not love so there is some person whom jin is uh, jim does not love okay so let us see how to solve this now there exists some x such that jim does not love so negation l jin does not love that x if there is a particular name in the given statement i am going to directly write it inside the thing okay so there exists some person x whom if i just remove this negation what is the meaning of this there exists some person whom jin loves that person jin loves x lx l jin x means what jin loves x but we want that jin does not love so i'm going to make what i'm going to make a negation of l jin and x let's see what is the answer for the f part now there is somebody means there is some a, there is some x or y whatever you can say there is some x whom no one loves all the people a, y do not love so y if i write l y x what is the meaning of this y loves x if i write l x y i am going to write x loves y if i write negation of this y does not love x if i write negation of l x y x does not love y now what do we want there is somebody there is some person in this world who is not liked by any person nobody loves that person okay so this means that it should be y does not loves x because we want x is not loved right so it will mean that it is negation of l y x this is the answer for f part let us move to the next bit there is exactly one person whom no one loves okay 
So here in the previous part, in the F part, we were saying that there is some person whom no one loves. Now that some person, which is this X, that may be two or three people because you know when you write there exists, you say at least, right? It means you you may have two three people who are who are not loved by all the people in the world, right? So here in the G part, what am I saying? Now you are you are saying that there is exactly one person in the world whom nobody loves. So if I just write the answer for G like this. There exists some X in this world such that if you take all the people in the world, all the people in that world, Y are not going to love X. But this means that this X can be more than one because it is saying at least one person, right? But what I want to say now, there are not more than one person, but in this problem, there is exactly one pe person in this world whom nobody loves. So how will I write that if there is exactly one? So for that, if you want to say there is exactly one, you will just put a exclamation mark after the existential quantifier. So this means then I will write a X. This means that there exists exactly one X for all Y negation L Y X. So what is the exclamation mark meaning? Exclamation mark means exactly one or unique. In mathematics, we say we use the word unique. Okay, let me show you the H1. There is exactly there is a there are exactly two people. I'm sorry, there is exactly one person whom everybody loves. So in this in this world, there is one person, everybody loves that one person. Okay means there exists a X. But that person is unique so that there exists exactly one unique X such that everybody in this world love that people uh, love that person X. So all people love this particular person X. OK, so this is the answer for the H part. Let's move to the next problem. Express each statement using logical operators, predicates and quantifiers where the domain consists of all integers. So here the domain D is consisting of all integers and we know integers are denoted by Z. So I will now write the solution for the first one. The first one is the sum of two negative integers is negative. So if you take any two negative integers, then their addition is also negative. I will repeat if you take any two negative integers, then their addition is also negative. So this is clear cut and implication. Now, if you take any two integers, so this means that if I choose any X, which is an integer. And if I choose any Y, if I have any Y, which is an integer. OK, if both of them are negative, if both negative, then some negative. So now I will write this in term of quantifiers again. So for all X in Z, for all X, for all Y in Z, now I will not write whether they are integers because my domain is Z. If both are negative means X is less than zero and Y is also less than zero means both are negative. Then their sum is negative means X plus Y is less than zero. So this is the quantification of the first statement. The sum of two negative integers is Ne is is negative. Let us do the second one now. The difference between two positive integers is not necessarily positive. The difference between two positive integers is 
not necessarily so what i will do is for the time being i will remove the statement not necessarily and i will just look at the statement the difference of two positive integers is positive we will write this statement in the form of quantifiers and then we will take the negation of this so for the part c sorry part b what i will do is, is i will write it is negation of which statement difference of two positive integers is positive now i will write this inside statement in the form of quantifiers now how will i write the different the this thing if you take any x if you take any y if x and y positive then difference means x minus y positive so how will i write this in terms of symbols now means it is negation of for all x for all y x greater than 0 and y greater than 0 then x minus y greater than 0 and what is the negation of this particular statement the negation of this particular statement will be there exists x there exists y negation of this thing which is x ne x positive and y positive implies x minus y positive so this will be the answer for the part b let us go to part c now the sum of squares of two integers is greater than or equal to the square of their sum so here nothing is mentioned about what should x be so and what should y be so this means that this property holds for all x y this property should hold for all x y so what should i write for part c if you take any x and if you take any y this property should hold sum of squares of two integers the sum of the squares of two integers this is x square plus y square means it is the sum of squares of two integers x and y is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to the square of their sum the square of their sum means x square plus y square is greater than or equal to x plus y whole square means sum of the squares is greater than or equal to square of the sum of two integers so this is the answer for part c let's move to part d now the absolute value of the product of two integers is the product of their absolute values how will i write this in terms of quantifiers there is nothing mentioned about x and y this means that this property is true for all x y so therefore the answer for the part d will be therefore the answer for the part d will be for all x for all y i will write down this property the absolute value of absolute value of product of two integers x into y is is means is equal to is equal to product of means multiplication of their absolute values so mod x y is equal to mod x plus mod y this property holds true for all x y which are integers part d part e sorry the product of two negative integers is positive now how will i write the product of two negative integers is positive this means that for all x for all y 
if x y negative then product positive so this means that for all x for all y x less than 0 and y less than 0 means x and y both are negative then product x into y is positive 